I'm sure in the course of your day you may want to capture whatever is going on, on your screen, whether it's the desktop itself or an application. And there's a lot of different things you can do. One of them a lot of people are using is the snipping tool, the same snipping tool that's been around from Windows 7. But now Windows 10 you have one built in. If you go down here to, uh, to the taskbar and set the same for show uh, the workspace, uh, it'll show the workspace and you click there and you'll see there's a screen sketch right here. So when you click on it, it immediately brings up a snapshot of your screen here. Uh, and it shows you that you still have your screen behind it. But here's the snapshot. And you have an editing bar up here. You'll see that you have different capabilities here. Okay, and if you use a brush here, you can change the size and color of that brush. And when you use it, you can just write on your screen using that brush. Same thing with the pencil. If you right-click on that, you'll see you can change the color. Uh, and I'll change... Uh, the thickness as well and you see it does more like a pencil like drawing okay then next we can go over here to the highlighter which basically does highlighting like you would expect from a highlighting pen it creates a transparent line uh, through something so if I change this to green and change the thickness I go over here you see that's transparent you can see the icons behind it um, so it's just a highlighter okay now we covered the basic editing tools uh, you can go over here to the eraser if you case a mistake. Now, if I just clicked on it, it didn't really do anything. But if you go back up to the menu, and you'll see there's a stroke eraser, small, large, and erase all. So if you say stroke, it'll erase the entire stroke. That's if you click on it correctly. But anyways, a small eraser or large eraser here, it does a large, thick erase. And, of course, you can erase all uh, by choosing that. The next function on the taskbar is to click on the ruler, and if you click on that, you'll see you have a ruler you can drag along here and uh, move around. Now, as you can see, it comes up as an angle, and you, if you click on it, it won't do anything. But if you use the scroll button while you're over it on your mouse, that's how you move it around. Now, with the protractor, you just uh, click and bring it up, and you use the scroll to resize it, since it's obviously you're not going to use the rotation feature. Now the next item on the bar is the touch feature, which uh, for touch screens, it works exactly the same as all the others. You select uh, what kind of uh, pencil or pencil or whatever you want, and you draw uh, using your finger instead of a, a mouse. So let's say I've written something, I uh, erase it all and everything. The next thing you can look at is the undo feature you know, and redo, as it is with a lot of programs. You can click undo all the way back to where your editing session started. Or you can redo again till you get to the point you want to do. Now that covers your editing tools, but for most of us, we just want to copy and paste something. So we're going to use the next tool on the menu, and that's the crop. If we go here, you see you have a uh, size that you can drag around to whatever you want. You go ahead and grab it, and once you're satisfied with the uh, crop you have, you just click on that little check mark there, and that says save. Now, once it's saved, you're going to go up here and say save as, and go ahead and put it wherever you want on your hard drive. Now, if you just want to copy, you click on the copy icon right here, and it'll save that to your buffer, and you can paste it into other programs. If you want to share it, like through mail or something else, uh, or any other application, you just use the share functionality uh, built in. So there you have it, the ability to not only capture whatever is on your desktop, but also to edit it, crop it, whatever, and, f and use it in any other program or forward it to somebody else.